Hey everybody, this is Mr. Danzel, and we're going to continue with Illustrator Chapter 3. This is Lesson 2. Uh, we're going to be drawing some curved lines, so we need to open up this file, AI3-2, and we're going to save it as Curved Lines 1. And the way this is going to work is we're going to go to this first starting point. We're going to click and drag up to the middle of this purple star, and then let go. Then we come over to the next point, click and drag to the middle of this star, let go, click and drag, click and drag, and so on. But notice I'm clicking and dragging, I'm not I'm clicking, letting go, and then go into the star. And that can create um, these curved lines. And, oops. If you want to stop drawing, you can just click on the um, selection button. I actually went a little too far, so I'm going to back up one step, and that's what mine looks like. All right, so after that, um, we're going to go to the Direct Selection tool, and we're actually going to select this, um, this point right here. It's going to make this entire line visible. And we can then manipulate the line by dragging this around. So we drag this top point over to the purple star, and it does that. And then if we go to the third anchor point, we can drag this bottom part over to the red star, and it does that. Now we're actually just going to take that back to where it was. Actually, I guess we could have just done did an undo, so just take it back to the way it was, save it, and then we're going to close Curved Lines 1. Okay, next we need to open up this AI 3-3. We're going to save it as Curved Lines 2. And then oops, there are some views that are already put into this. So if you go to the View menu, we're going to click on View number 1. And it's going to kind of zoom in on this. Then we're going to need the direct selection tool. And we can click anywhere on the black line with the direct selection tool. And we're going to go to Object, Path, and Add Anchor Point. Just like that. So five anchor points are added. Um, then we're going to go to the Anchor Point Tool, and the Add Anchor Point Tool is actually underneath the Pen Tool. So if you click and hold, it's right down here at the bottom. And we're going to you know, hold on. Got to make sure our anchor points are visible here. So we go back to the Add Anchor Point Tool, and we're going to click um, each of the five new anchor points. like this, and notice what that does. Um, the smooth points are converted to what we call corner points. And then if we click the original anchor points like this, You can see what that does. And then lastly, we're going to, um, with the anchor point tool still selected, we're going to go up here to this point. We're going to click and drag. And we're going to drag it over here to the middle of this star. And it kind of does that. We're going to do that to this one. That's not what we want. Okay. Do that, and then do that. So make them look just like that. Next, we're going to go to view number two. View number two. Okay, it's going to take us right there, and we need the pen tool again, just like that. And we're going to position over the first point right here, 
and click and drag down to the green star. And we'll go over to the second point, click and drag up to the purple star. And then I'm going to click on this second anchor point. And notice that the line that we created there is deleted. And we go over here. And then we can just continue drawing our curved lines. Oops, that's not what we need to do. We need to click and drag. Don't click and then go. Click and drag to there. And then come here, click and drag. Boom. And then remember if we click back on that, it makes that direction line go away. Now we can go to the next point. Oh. Click and drag. Click and drag. Just like that. Okay, next we're going to go to view number three, and again we need the pen tool, just like that. We're going to position it over the first point, then click and drag down to the purple star. And go over to the second point, click and drag up to the red star. Now at this point, we're actually going to press on the Alt key. That actually will change it to um, the Anchor Point tool. And we're going to click and drag this down to here. Again, we're holding down on Alt. And let go. Then we come over here, click and drag up. And press Alt. Drag it down, click and drag up, hold Alt, drag it down, you can let, let go of Alt at this point every time, click and drag up, hold Alt, and then click and drag up. And I like to hit escape, or you can go over and click on this tool, and that's it. Save your work, and then we are done with curved lines too. Okay, uh, for this next part, we need AI 3-4. We're going to save it as Snowball Parts. And in this part, um, in this lesson, we're going to be drawing the different parts of an illustration. So this first part, we need to go to View and arm, okay, right there. We're going to need the pen tool, and we're going to go over to point one, and click and drag here, and go to point two, click and drag here, point three, point four, And then once we get over here back to point one, we're going to press and hold Alt. And I know that kind of looked weird, but by pressing and holding Alt, it kind of took me in the opposite direction. But that will end our arm segment. Then we're going to go to View and Hat Band. 
We want to make sure the fill color is set to none when we do this part. And the stroke color should be black. It looks like I'm already there. Okay, we're going to use the pen tool again and then start at position one. We're going to create a corner point. And we're just going to click and drag and go to two. Like that, three, four, when we get to five, we're just going to click and six and back to one. And we'll click the selection tool to make sure it's deselected. Next, we need to go to view and nose. Okay, so that's going to take us to our nose part. Um, oops, we need the pen tool. So one, and two. Just like that. Um, we're going to hold down on Alt and move this down to the red star. And then come up here and make sure we're back to the pen tool. Uh, it's not quite what I wanted to do there, just a moment. And then finally, after we have moved. Um, this anchor point down here, and this is kind of the tricky part, we're going to click on 4, and at this point you're just going to kind of, going to kind of manipulate this around until the path that you are drawing matches up with the path that's on the screen. Let go, press your selection tool, and then you are good to go. All right, and then we are going to go to View. And we need to find Fit All in Window up here near the top. So Fit All in Window. And we're going to go to File and Place. And we need to find where our data files are. I'm going to go into here, and we need to find this file called Snowball Sketch. So click on it, and then click on Place. And now we have this little um, Snowball Sketch guy here. And then once we get this um, little guy in there, we're just going to click over here, and that puts it into there. Um, we're going to use the scale tool. Just double click on that and change it to 115%. Then click OK. And then we're going to use the uh, selection tool and just move it over here. We basically, we want it right off of there. And uh, just move it over here into the scratch area. And that's it. Save your work. And we are done with the first two lessons. Sorry, I lied. After um, saving your work, you're actually going to go ahead and draw all these remaining items. Uh, you can refer to this um, drawing as needed, but you need to go ahead and finish drawing all of those items. Uh, if it's easiest, you can use the View tool uh, to get in there and um, get to the right view.